If you watched the last video, you probably got a pretty good laugh watching me struggle with the cherry picker trying to get that engine out of there. I had to, to pick it up, move it over to the side, let it down a little, move it over a little more, let it down a little more, and I really struggled getting it out of there. So it's time to put the engine back in, and I don't want that kind of struggle. Um, not to mention, I'm going to have to pull this engine out at least one more time when this thing's all the way complete so that I can paint it. So I've decided I'm going to cut some of the framework back here, add some flanges in. That way I can make this section of the frame removable. I can put the engine in, bolt that section of the frame back in. I don't want to cut this tube up here. It's part of the main structure that protects you in, a, in the event of a rollover. So I'm only going to cut these pieces back here. All right, let's get started on it. I came over here to the computer and drew up a simple flange. I'll create a program for this and cut it out on the CNC plaz table. Then I can cut the frame, weld these things in place, and that rear section of the frame will be removable. camera I did do a few things. I uh, obviously finished up this removable section of the frame so I can pull that out of the way, put the engine in, and bolt this back in place. I also added the uh, aluminum floor pans and then welded in the seat brackets so that those seats will be ready to bolt right back in. Alright, 
it is time to put the engine back in. I'd like to lead you to believe that putting the engine in there was as easy as it looked on the film, but uh, I can't with a clear conscience not show you what really happened. I attempted to bring it in from the top, and this was in the way. Second choice was lower it and bring it in from the driver's side and slide it over. I couldn't figure it out. And finally on that third attempt, I brought it over here on the passenger side and slid it over and it was fairly painless. So uh, I just thought I'd let you know that. I need a few more hands. <laughs> So there you can see, engine is in and that uh, section of frame just bolts right back in place. guys I got the frame cut flange is welded in to bolt it back together so that this piece of the frame can be removed and put the engine in which we've accomplished I got the floor pans on I got the seat mounts welded in I think we're gonna end this video right here and uh, the next video I'll work really hard on getting the rest of it all put together the suspension and, and uh, get this thing to the point that I can drive it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next video.